I hit 22.1 a few hours ago. So here uh, is my feedback and some tips that maybe can help you um, if you're gonna give this a go before Monday and then also for our Monday night event. So it's a 15 minute workout. So it's a grinder. On paper, 15 minutes might not seem very long, but when you're in it, it was starting to feel quite long. So my first piece of advice is don't come out too hot. Start with a pace that you know you can maintain for at least 10 minutes. So my recommendation is during your warm up, find that rhythm, get into a pace in each of the movements and then transition quickly from each of the movements once you've finished all the reps. Then the final five, three, two minutes, that's where you're to pick up the pace, increase your speed and put on the gas pedal. All right, let's break it down to each of the movements. Let's go to the wall walk. So with the wall walk, after those box jumps, your heart rate is going to be elevated. You're gonna feel out of breath. You're gonna to wanna to just lie there or stand there. Um, but the key is to keep moving. So know that even though you're trying to catch your breath, your strength is still there. So just start to go. One tip is if you can, once your hands are on the line, push your chest off the ground, push your hips back, and then start moving your feet up the wall. Just gives you a little bit extra momentum and a quick little planned pause, but you're still moving. Um, and if you're starting to feel like this is too tiring and, and you've lost some strength, keep thinking about pushing that floor away from you as your hands and feet are still moving and then coming back down with control. Then you're gonna go right into your dumbbell snatch. So don't stand around and look at the dumbbell here. Pick it up right away. Think about you know pulling it off the ground, snapping those hips, punching it to the sky. What you should practice in your warm-up is the transition of the dumbbell from one hand to the next, because it's an alternating dumbbell snatch. So both heads of the dumbbell must hit the ground. Your other hand that's not holding the dumbbell cannot hold your hand, and you've got to finish with full lockout overhead. So in your warm-up when you're working on your transitions, you can practice that transition from overhead, or you can practice that transition in front of you, or you're gonna quickly transition with it on the ground. Whichever one you choose, stick with it and make sure you feel confident and comfortable with that transition. With your box jump, it's a jump up and then step down. So again, another opportunity to practice in your warm-up. Here, when you first start coming from the dumbbell snatches, your heart rate's gonna be elevated. So maybe those first few is gonna to be to try to calm and regulate that heart rate. But then because of the volume and you're doing 15, it's gonna get jacked up again. So in your warm up, practice a rhythm that gets you up on the box, but how to confidently turn around, transition, and get right back up so you're not standing there staring at the box. So work through a couple techniques. Maybe you're jumping up slightly on a side, transitioning one time left leg down, the next time right leg down. Maybe you're turning a different side. Maybe your front foot comes down versus your back foot. Whatever works for you, find that pace and stick with it. And then just keep going um, through each of the, the uh, movements one at a time. Again, quick transition from one to the next. So it is a grind. You're gonna get through it. Give it a go before Monday if you wanna give it a practice run. Um, see where you can make up some time. Now I know I was able to get through eight rounds plus one wall walk, so I know where I can pick up some time and work on some efficiency. If you're just gonna hold off until Monday and give it your all, go for it. And also know for all the other different divisions, the wall walk changes where you don't have to get your hands all the way to that second piece of tape. You're just moving your hand from this line to this line as your wall walk. Or in the, in the foundations division, it's a bear crawl between five feet. Um, and instead of a box jump from both scaled and uh, foundations divisions, you're stepping up versus jumping up and then the dumbbell weight is modified. So guys, let's crush it. Week one is out, it's started. We'll see you soon.